In this video we're going to look at the bounce rate and the exit rate and explain how we can analyze these different metrics, distinguish them, as well as run reports that are going to help us make better decisions for our website. So if we look at the bounce rate in the behavior in all pages report, uh, you, can, you can scroll over this little speech bubble and there's a learn more link here that you should read. So essentially what Google is saying is that the bounce rate is the percentage of single page sessions in which there was no interaction with the page. A bounce session has a duration of zero seconds. So that's a little confusing. So I'm just going to explain that quickly. So what a bounce rate means is a bounce occurs whenever a user enters the page and exits without visiting another page on the website. So the reason why a bounce rate has a duration of zero seconds, sorry, the reason why a bounce session has a duration of zero seconds is because Google Analytics has no way of knowing how long the person stayed on the website unless, unless they clicked on another page on the website. And in the case of a bounce, they just they came to the index page and they left the, they exited the website from the index page. So that's counted as a bounce and Google records it as zero, zero second session. Now exits is, is a little bit different than a bounce. The exit rate, on the other hand, looks at the number of people who exit your website after landing on a page. But it also allows you know, people to go on other pages of your website, browse your website. So let's say somebody comes to the index page, and then they go to the fabric, and then they come back uh, to the index and exit the website. That would be an exit, but it wouldn't be a bounce, because they went to multiple pages on your website. Exit is, they can, they can be on multiple pages and then leave your website, and then Google counts that as an exit. So two different metrics. So now, how do we how do we use these uh, metrics to make informed decisions for our website? So the first thing we can do is we can go to the landing pages report, and the, this report shows us landing pages. And if we look at the speech bubble, the pages through which visitors entered your site. So these are the pages that people landed on first. So they didn't come to the home page and then go to the upholstery. They they came to the reupholstery page from let's say a social media or site or from, from Google Organic or Google Pay Per Click. So these are your landing pages, first page that people land on when entering your site. Now if we click this little bubble here or this graph and then in the sessions we change it to bounce rate. This is an excellent graph that shows us quickly visually of which pages are the problem pages or they might not be problem pages you know like the contact us pages usually has the highest bounce rate. But in this case, you have to remember that these are pages that people came to your site from. So these are first pages that people came to when they, when they came to your website. So somebody maybe searched for your contact details in Google, and the Contact Us page came up and they clicked it, they got the contact details and left. So this page might not be an issue. What you want to do is you want to drill down to other pages in your website and find out which pages people are exiting from or bouncing from, and you want to fix those pages. Now we can we can look at other reports to find out like if we go back to the all pages report you know this shows us the bounces and the exits per page but what if we wanted to find out the the bounces and exits for the overall website so what we do is we can run an audience overview report so if we go to audience and then go overview so we we can see the bounce rate here for all the sessions on our website and all the users was 49 percent. If we go to channels, go to acquisition, and then we go to all traffic and then channels, here we can see the bounce rate right here. We can see the bounce rate by the different medium that people came from or channel. And we can take that a step further to the source medium report. This will show you, you know, organic PPC and, and different sources that people are coming from and you can look at your bounce rate for those mediums to determine whether they're effective or not. So if we quickly go back uh, to the behavior and then site content and then all pages. So if we look at the stats here, bounce and exit. So let's let's look at the, um, the upholstery page for example. So what this is telling us is that 58% of these page views result in a bounce. So roughly 60% of all these people only land on the upholstery page and exit the website from that page. They don't go to any other page on the site. What this number is telling us is that 42 or 
of all these page views exit the page but that page might not necessarily be the first page that they landed on they might have landed here they might have landed here and then they came to this page and then exited from that page so if you notice that a lot of people are leaving from your add to cart page or your checkout page then you might want to reassess you know your your add to cart process or your checkout process to see why they might be exiting from that page now another great report is the behavior flow so we actually have a video specifically made for behavior flow which you can check out on our channel uh, but I'll quickly walk you through this report since it's relevant to the previous stuff I was talking about so uh, by default uh, this is set to a landing page so you can uh, you can change it there's different uh, options you can set like source and medium to see instead of landing page it'll show you where people are coming from but if we look at this uh, landing page uh, report these are the different landing pages so these are the first pages people landed on when they came to your website and uh, the, the beautiful thing about this report is that we can isolate each one of these pages so if we if we click on it and click highlight traffic through here it'll show you that page specifically and give you details you know how many sessions uh, came to that page and then from that page uh, you can just hover over it it'll show you how many people dropped off uh, drop offs and, and th that's this bar right here you can see it visually so drop offs are exits it's equivalent to an exit and that was confirmed with Google even though it's kind of misleading for it to say drop off when they have uh, bounce rate and exits but that's equivalent to exit so just keep that in mind so what this tells you is there was 400, 468 sessions out of those 182 were through traffic so that means they went to these different other pages on the website and then 286 were drop offs and then uh, you can evaluate further you know what has happened and, and, and some, look at some of these other pages uh, where it says 63 more pages you can click on that and click group details it'll give you this report of other pages as well as their drop offs so you can uh, you can study them and we use these reports so uh, don't just focus on the stuff that's on the screen you can dig deeper and find out other problems another thing you can do is um, if you go to this page for example you can explore traffic through here uh, that's an excellent report to see you know um, so you want to you want to look at step zero that's your fabrics page and the left hand side shows you that the pages that people came to this page from and on this side the pages that people landed on this page and then went to these different pages so that's just a more granular way to look at things we'll go back here and uh, you can add more steps to look at uh, further interactions and then if we look at um, medium So this will show you the, the medium that people came from. So in this case, organic, we can select the traffic coming from there and see all the different sessions going to the various pages. And based on this data, you know, we can evaluate these different pages and, and make sure to fix ones that have a really high bounce or drop off or exit rates. You know, that's a 67. So that page should be improved. There's a 70 in the portfolio. So maybe somebody wasn't happy with the people are not happy with the portfolio, so we would fix that. So that's a quick overview of the behavior flow report, as well as uh, looking at the exit and bounce rates and making improvements to your user experience and to fixing various problems on your website. I hope this video was useful, and if you liked it, please like it. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and we'll answer you as soon as we can. Take care.